<laughs> hello, hello, how are you? I am back again. And today I thought I'd do a quick video on my three favorite luxury scented candle brands. Um, so I'm gonna show you my favorites and I think, I think this is gonna shock people. So bear with me. Anyway, the first one I wanna show you is of course Diptyque. I love Diptyque, I think they're amazing. Am I weirdly in a frame? Should I try this? I feel like my head was being cut off. Anyway, the first one is Diptyque. I love them, I love them so much. Oh, this one is a fig tree and it's so good. Um, it's actually called Figure, but I call it fig tree. Anyway, it's so beautiful and it's a big outdoor candle. This is actually a five wick candle and I bought it a couple of years ago and it cost me so much money. It costs like 200 pounds, which is a lot of cash. Anyway, I love it so much. I think it's beautiful and I just really, really, really wanted it. I just thought it was so beautiful and so perfect. And um, yeah, I wanted to treat myself. I always say that like buying luxury scented candles is like one of my favorite ways to waste money because like I know it's expensive and I know it's a stupid amount of money to spend on a candle, but I just really enjoy it because it just makes me feel so happy and I love the way it makes my house smell and I love the way they look and I love buying them. They're just like, they're just something that just make me really happy. And even though I know that they're like a lot of money and probably not actually worth it, they kind of are really worth it because they just make me feel good. Anyway, the Diptyque ones I think are amazing. I'm super worried about dropping this one because it's so special. But um, yeah, you can get them in different sizes. This is the outdoor size, which is the biggest one that they do. It's the most expensive. I think they're around 200 pounds each, which is a pretty penny. However, I think they're nearly like two kilos each for like 200 pounds. Whereas like the classic candle, which is much, much smaller. This is one of the Christmas ones. This is 190 grams, which is almost like a 10th of the candle size, but it's like only a quarter of the price. So you get a lot more bang for your buck with the big ones. Um, yeah, like pound for pound, cent for cent, burn for burn, whatever. You get a lot more mileage out of the big ones and also the pots are so special. However, the small ones are wonderful because you can kind of buy them a bit more frequently. Oh God, I love this, so good. This is um, one of the new Christmas candles, by the way. This is Floral Majesty. It's very pretty. It comes in three different fragrances of the Christmas ones. You get a pine one, an amber one, and a floral one. I have the floral one. But anyway, I just think Dipty candles cannot be beaten. They are the best. They smell incredible. There's so many good ones to choose from. I would say if you're going for a Christmas one, go for the pine. And I would say if you're going for a classic candle, go for either 34 figure or um, bays because they're all beautiful. And um, yeah, they're just so good. I also like the tobacco one but it's very smoky, so it's not for everybody. But if you are buying one as a gift, just go for bays, just go for bays. It's so good. Anyway, that's my first favorite, Diptyque. I love them, I think they're incredible. And if you can afford it, I say go for the big one because you get a lot more mileage out of them scent-wise. And, um, and also they just feel so much more special and they look incredible and oh, it's one of my favorite things that I've ever bought, anyway. That's Diptyque, love, love, love them. They are amazing. Um, the small candles like this size are normally about 58 pounds. And the big candles, which are five wick and around, I wanna say they're about 1.9 kilos, which is literally 10 times bigger than the classic ones. They are around 200 pounds. So you get a lot more money for your money or a lot more wax for your money. You know what I mean? Anyway, that's my favorite, Diptyque. Love, love, love them. Um, <laughs> stretching over and then my next favorite scented candle company has to be roger i love roger i love his perfumes i love them so much and um he does a cracking candle he also does a really good fig candle that's gorgeous the new york candle is amazing the london candle is wonderful the paris candle is also amazing right now i'm burning the christmas candle i think it's called the essence of christmas it's so good, like it's so good. It fills the room so quick and it smells like sweet, like pine, but like with amber and smoke and cakes and just deliciousness. Like it's really piney and smoky and woodsy, but also kind of gourmandy. 
it's perfect it's beautiful it's just amazing i love 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 it um i think these ones are around 95 pounds each so again fairly expensive but you know the point of the video is that they are luxury scented candles so they're not gonna be cheap and like i say they are one of my favorite ways to spend money but this one is amazing this one is roger it's the essence of christmas i love 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 it for christmas it's amazing and um yeah i just think they're beautiful and perfect if you're buying it around Christmas time, I would say go for the Essence of Christmas because that one is beautiful. But if you're not buying it around Christmas, I would say go for either the Paris or New York one, or I love the Fig one. Oh, they're all gorgeous. They are all so pretty and so beautiful and I love, love, love them. Roger makes an incredible candle. Um, so yeah, that's my next favorite. And then my third favorite is, da, da, da. Oh, Nassetti. I love them. I love them. Oh, I love them. They look so pretty in my house. They are so just beautiful to look at. They're so beautiful to smell. They just feel like the most perfect objet de art. And I just love them. I think they're so perfect. Oh, God, I love them. This one is the Flora Scent, which is amazing. It's kind of like jasmine-y, tuberosy, really opulent, really decadent, really just like wonderfully rich and floral and it's just beautiful i think it's got quite a lot of tuberose in it's got a lot of jasmine a lot of yang -lang, lang lang it's beautiful i love it it smells so good and then the pots are beautiful and i just love them i think they are so beautiful and so perfect these ones are a little bit more money they're like 150 each and i'm not gonna lie i have quite a few of the small ones and i also have a couple of big ones like I said, it's one of my favorite ways to waste money. I love it. I love buying candles. They just make me so happy. Anyway, I love the Fornacetti ones. Um, I would say, personally, I think the Flora is the best scent they do. They do do a beautiful kind of woodsy, smoky one. That's amazing. Um, and then they also do a really pretty, like, green one. And they do a hydrangea one, which is lovely. But personally, I always just go Flora because I think it's perfect. Um, but I would say take as much notice of what the pot looks like as what the fragrance smells like because I just think the fragrance is beautiful and they're all perfect and lovely but then the pots you'll keep basically forever so do bear that in mind never throw away a Fornacetti pot as well like you can use them for so many things afterwards you can put like trinkets in you can put matches in you could put your cotton buds in you can put anything you want in but they're so pretty and they're so special i love them so much and um yeah i think even though they are 150 pounds each i think they're worth it i'm sorry but i actually really do i love i love spending money on candles what can i say i think they're amazing um other candle companies to look out for have to be the Bella Freud ones are gorgeous. Um, Sir Trudon do some very nice ones. Um, jo Malone, of course. And I'm trying to think if there's anybody else I want to give a shout out to. Morton Brown. Morton Brown do a good one. Um, I would say more affordable candles. Flamingo candles um, are really good. I really like the Rose and Oud one. And then another affordable candle brand, probably Yankee. You just can't go wrong with a Yankee candle. I think they're really good. And they're really affordable and i kind of want to buy myself like a pumpkin spiced latte one soon and you can buy them from like basically anywhere like you can even get them in asda which is kind of incredible because like these ones you have to mail order so it's quite nice to have one that you can get a little bit more locally as well anyway that's kind of me that's kind of my video um my three favorite luxury scented candle brands and um yeah i'll put some shopping links below if you've got any questions let me know um, please don't judge me for how much I spend on stuff I don't need but what can I say I don't really smoke I don't really drink well I don't I don't really smoke I don't smoke at all I don't even know how to smoke but I don't smoke I don't drink um I just go on dog walks and buy candles so that's me I'm very boring and that's how I like to spend my money anyway that's my video thank you so much for watching I will see you again soon if you have any questions let me know if you want to go shopping, the links are below and um, I'll see you again very soon. Have a lovely day. Goodbye. <laughs>